Johnson dumps it right back in and then heads off on a line change. We've played nine minutes of this hockey game. We're scoreless. Here's a steal by Parker Thomason. Oh, shot. Parker Thomas knocked down a pass in the north side by Brett Griffin. And then in top, a little east west and some shaking back and got to the forehand for the right handed shot and deposited its past Palmenville and Selkirk leads it 1 0 on his 13th of the year and his league leading 34th, 31st point. That'll be unassisted here at 9 04. And Francis O'Leary couldn't come up with it. And now Selkirk, a breakaway for Parker Thomas in on Palmenville and he scores. And tonight's Myers Last Penny three star selection. The first star from the Soccer Steelers, Parker Thomas. Thomas, it gets by Orr, and back retreating into his own zone is Alexander to take a pass. Right up the middle there for Brent Wold. He drops to the line, nobody home for Portage. Back in transition comes Thomas. Across the line, he gets knocked toward the boards, stays on his feet, and got it in deep. After it goes Orr, he shoots it around the boards, pitching in his Mesner. He comes away with it in the corner. One of the Portage Jerry's has lost his stick. It's <laughs> And it was Jensen, the 16-year-old. He kept going around the boards and somehow somebody missed an assignment. And Patrick Thomas was right here in the slot. And he nailed it. And it's 2 nothing Selkirk. Yeah, you know what? That's the second or third time tonight that Thomas has found himself all alone out in front. The Terriers somehow missing the most important guy on the ice at that time. No mistake. But a great pinch in there by Mesner, a very astute offensively to jump in quickly and a nice feed out in front. Five-hole goal and a big goal early on here. That's Kerry Morrison behind the net. Morrison makes a nice pass to Thomas, who's got speed. Thomas up over center ice into the Terrier zone, tries to get past or he scores! Puck came loose in the slot and the Steelers strike first. That was Soren Fredrickson. Looks like most of the work was done by Thomas. Down in the Steelers' zone for a good part of the period. They're looking for a breakout pass to Parker Thomas. Thomas is taken off the puck, though, by John Carlson. It's going to be a penalty. Robito makes the save. Steelers really like to use that no red line to their advantage. Parker Thomas was way behind the Terrier defense. It's a set play by the team. But his defenseman didn't know how free he was and went off the glass instead. Thomas has a lot of speed. Managed to get around Carlson. Carlson took him into the boards of the side. Cross ice pass to Thomas. In through the middle, they score! Shane Gingera on a beautiful pass from Parker Thomas. And the Steelers have tied this game up. Big group for the steal and enter back up ice. Parker Thomas in a four-way tie for the lead league in scoring. And he has it in behind the Winkler net. Works out in front, still has it. Back to the point. Humphreys will get shoots and scores! Ian Humphreys, top shot. But Parker Thomas did all the work from the neutral ice. Entered the zone and waited for an opportunity to pick up a guy late. And the Steelers early in this one lead it one nothing. Yeah, that'll help him in the scoring race, Paul. I mean, that was just way too much room for Parker Thomas to operate with there. You have to think the Winkler Flyers coaching staff is going to try and rectify that with their players as Thomas had all sorts of time and space to move that puck around the boards, around the net, and then finding Humphreys open at Morrison. In toward the middle for Parker Thomas. He's got speed, swings toward his off wing on the near side, cuts toward the middle, gets to the slot, shoots! And that's stopped by Gary Rebound on the side of the net. Soka couldn't get to it. It's poked toward the corner along the back wall. Jinjera tried to move it back out in front for Thomas, and it caught the stick of the side of the net. Uh, Deary, and he will cover up and hang on. How about that little flip back toward the middle? That's a little shake and bake that we've seen for the last four years from Parker Thomas. Yeah, but that play all started back inside the Steelers' own zone with a great breakout pass from Kerry Morrison right on the tape, a saucer play. And we all know what happens when Parker Thomas gets that puck in space. Good things are usually going to happen for Selker. And Selker will start back on a two on one. Start up, and Thomas, Thomas with the puck across the line, moves in, shoots! Parker Thomas will pick up another goal. And for Parker, his team leading 15th goal of the year, 
is lead leading 36 points, and he used three of them as the plastic duck and made a great move on a two-on-one, and Celtic scores early in the second and leads it 2-0. Yeah, turnover right at the blue line there. Tyler Anton couldn't get that puck in deep. Hushka chips it off to Parker Thomas. As you mentioned, great job there using the defenseman as a decoy, just holding, holding on eventually able to beat the goaltender there. A great move, a great goal, and a great start to the second period. To try to help out his play back toward the point. Shot came in, blocked it, but as that never got through. In transition, here's Fredrickson ahead. That pass for Thomas. Little chip move across the line. Moves it. Shoot! Yeah! Yeah! Thomas bringing up the live wedge right at the blue line there. Just a little chip over Robbie Jordan. Oh, he's a depressed defenseman for the Wendell Fives. He just chips it right over him. Walks in down the left wing side. And there was just a sliver of space above the glove of Matt Shower. And you can see the net pledge on that one. He got every ounce of that snapshot. A great move by Thomas and a 2 nothing Steelers lead. Count, redirected him towards center. Here's Parker Thomas to gobble up that loose puck across the line. Little tuck move, shoot. The Sucker Steelers got Duda out of the penalty box. Hacker Thomas came out, jumped off the bench onto the loose puck, walked in on a one on two, and hammered a wrist shot past the goaltender. It's 3 0 Steelers on Parker's second of the night. Yeah, it looks like Ryan Swift picked the right hand and come out of the penalty box for him there as Thomas picks that puck up. Another chip move. We see over the, over the stick of one of the Flyers defenders, he came in and he just slung shot that one top corner over the glove of Manichello for his second of the night. And a big goal for Selka because they were kind of caught in their heels to start this one. We'll see if this one goes across the line. Dropped it from Parker Thomas. They continue on a power play. Five side shot. Parker Thomas across ice pass. And then the Prisco wasted no time on a one-timer. And 15 seconds into the period, the Selkirk Steelers have a fourth lead on their second whoop, 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 power play goal of the night. Yeah, it looked like the Winkler Flyers were making a concerted effort to make sure that Parker Thomas didn't beat them with a goal. Well, that's a mistake there, too, as two, maybe even three Winkler Flyers converged on Thomas right near the blue line on the left side, and partner Eric Pushka, rather, all alone to the side of the net. A great feed and great finish by Pushka, his second of the night. So two Steelers now in the third period with a chance for some hat-tricks. Pushka second of the night, 11th of the year for Parker Thomas, his third point, 15 seconds in. Here they come again. And then with just under five minutes left to go in the first, Parker Thomas with an absolute beauty of a goal, a chip over Bobby Jang, and then an absolute snipe over the glove of Marischello. Thomas is 16th of the season. Fredrickson and Kennedy with the assist, and it was two zip after one. And the second, just one goal in Parker Thomas. Some more magic from him. Another shot over the glove of Mitch Marischello. That came at the 637 mark, unassisted. It was 3 nothing steal after 40. And then the Steel would add their fourth and final goal of the night, just 15 seconds into the period. Another power play marker. And another goal for Eric Pushka, his second of the night, 11th of the year. Parker Thomas and Joel Mesner with the assists on that one. And unfortunately for the Steel, the lone blemish on the night, the shutout bit to create the suspense toward our first star selection. So without further ado, who is La Première Etoile? First star, first in the league in scoring, Parker Thomas. Two goals and an assist tonight, so three points in the game for him and I mean, what can you say? It was vintage Parker Thomas here tonight. Both those goals, highlight real goals, absolute snipes, and real good dangles to get himself open space to create those shots. And that third, or sorry, the fourth goal, the final goal for the steal on the power play, just a great look by him to find Pushka all alone when everyone kind of converged on him. And, I mean, it's what we come to expect with Parker. He's going to get his points. And tonight we saw a little bit more magic from him on those points as usual. And, Certainly worthy of first star. Parker Thomas, star number one. Eric puts in almost a great chance for Seal. Now another shot out in the front. A couple chances here. 
as it's Colby Woods and Derek Brooks right in front of Deary trying to bang that one home. Parker Thomas, some nice work behind the back of the net there to feed that one out in front. But a good stop by Deary as we see the steal try to have a little bit of answer back now. Yeah, the shot's 7-3 to three for the Pistons, but the uh, the play has been so far in the Steinbeck Pistons and recently. Davian Wallach with a one-timer. That one whistles by the top corner, but puck is kept in, and Thomas now behind it. Out in front, and they score! Derek Brooks will get credit for that one as he tried to feed Colby Woods out in front. Tyler Anton, it's every defenseman's nightmare, just trying to make the play. And he poked that one past Nicholas Thierry, and the Steelers a big one up the lead early in this one. Wow, that was one of those lucky goals. Now Mesner with it back at the point on the power play, a minute 40 left to go. Works it to Thomas on the far side. Cross us to Duda, and he scores! Just some quick puck movement there by the steal. Mesner to Thomas, and a great feed to Duda. And a great finish after the first period, but they're in control of this game now as Brett Duda will get his sixth of the year from Parker Thomas and Joel Mesner. And the Seal wants a move here, and they get it! A quick one right off the draw, and Parker Thomas at it again, able to find Derek Brooks, and Brooks, his second goal of the night. Just like that, 14 seconds later, and the Pistons are really now, it's 4-1 Steelers. Warwick unable to clear, McDonald stops at the line, Collins. Collins gives it to Last. Last pushed up against the boards to Mesner. And the penalty is over to the Selkirk Steelers. Last tries to find a streaking Sophilis. And Damian Wallach is able to pick it up and weave in and out of the flyers and able to dump it all the way in where Parker Thomas goes in after it. Parker Thomas gets the puck behind the net, tries to center it. Blocked by Vander. Vanderlinden. Pantana shoots, he scores! Gets the rebound! Comes out no more than two feet behind the goal line and rips it! Top side over the downed Vanderlinden who was trying to stop it going low and Parker Thomas rips it top side and that'll make it 4 1 for the Selkirk Steelers. 2 11 remaining. Shots 19 14. Beautiful battle. Make it 4 1 for the Selkirk Steelers. 2 11 remaining. Shots 19 14. Beautiful play by Parker Thomas. Got it behind the net. Worked it, tried to work it out in front. Vander Linden stopped it once, stopped it twice. Parker Thomas said, Okay, I'm done with these passing. I'm going to curl up right by the circle and uh, just going to rip it right over his shoulder. Able to do so. Beautiful play by the league leading Parker Thomas with that 22nd goal of the year. Versus Push Kostara wins, shot wide of the net, controlled by Parker Thomas, who gets a return pass from Humphreys, and Parker Thomas beats Karlowski around the wide side, tries to go in, and he shoots and he scores! One man show, Parker Thomas, not much, Anybody could do on it, stepped around Karlowski and just went ahead of steam into the front of the net and was able to poke it in before the net came off its moorings. And Parker Thomas has two goals on New Year's Eve and it's six.